Happy New Year and welcome to Dustin Eats. I'm Dustin and today we have a very special guest, Chelsea Jade Holiday. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> Chelsea loves baking yummy desserts, and today she is going to show us how to make papilloma! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Wait, what is that from? It's a dab. Oh, what's a dab? So, you basically look down and like... <laughs> <laughs> My first time dabbing! <laughs> so, before we begin, Chelsea, what is papilloma? So, pavlova, just basically in simple terms, is kind of just like a giant meringue with um, like cream and berries on top of it. And if you don't know what meringue is, it's basically egg whites whisked together with sugar and it creates like this fluffy, like crunchy, soft uh, dessert. <laughs> Mmm, sounds delicious. Yeah. Actually, you made it before last Christmas. Last Christmas I made it and Dustin was at my house. We had fondue and it was delicious. And I don't know, I feel like I like to try different desserts, so I'm not really sure how I came across the recipe for the pavlova, but I thought it looked really pretty because it's a really pretty dessert and it's like really light and fluffy, so. So Chels, what are the ingredients for so, pavlova? The ingredients, this isn't the whole list, but um, it's basically egg whites, um, Castor sugar, which if you don't know what castor sugar is, it's, I guess it's finely, um, super fine granulated sugar. Um, and we'll need cocoa powder, also um, dark chocolate bars, raspberries, heavy whipping cream. So we're gonna start with setting the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Do you wanna do that, Dustin? So bake. 350 and then start. degrees, yeah. start. Okay, so we turn on the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're gonna take our eggs. Um, we need six egg whites, so Justin and I will be separating the eggs, the yolk and the egg white. So good luck. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get any shells. Hopefully. <laughs> so that's, you can do your bowl and we'll put the shells in here. Okay. It's always very nerve wracking. I know. When's the last time you had to separate egg? I don't remember. <laughs> and I know they have those fancy little, um, like, tools that will help you separate it, but I've never really tried really? it. Really? I just kind of go with what I know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't do this very often. <laughs> oh, actually, me and Nock made egg coffee. Oh! And then we made, um, we used the egg yolks for the egg coffee, and then we used the egg whites to make Vietnamese pizza. What's Vietnamese pizza? It's um, rice paper that you put on the grill, put on some egg, mm -hmm. and then you put like different toppings like pork or pork floss. Um, pork floss? It's kind of like, it's kind of like a pork cotton candy. Oh, because you'll need floss or because it's... It's flossy. Oh, can you do, can you floss? <laughs> <laughs> yes! No, this is me just like <laughs> I cannot do that. I'm so uncoordinated. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? I think you just go back and forth and your arms are just like... I don't know. <laughs> Let's do the Pee Wee Herman. What's the Pee Wee Herman? Oh! Oh, dun 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 Cheers! <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> so, um, we locked our mixer and the bowl is locked and we have actually, well, I'll just show you, we have the um, whisking attachment to whisk the egg whites. Okay, so we're locked and loaded, so add the six egg whites. Perfect. And if you can see like on this side, it's the different speeds. So we'll just start with um, the lowest speed to start, and then we'll just gradually get faster. Because I feel like sometimes if you turn it on the highest setting, it kind of might explode, so yeah, it's good to start slow. slow. Um, and yeah, so basically we're just going to 
wait until um, it becomes nice and white and soft peaks form, and then we'll start adding our sugar. start by making um, our bowl. I'll have Dustin fold everything in. So <laughs> we're gonna actually need um, three tablespoons of the cocoa powder. And you can actually um, pour I'll it into this. It. Yeah. We are using the Trader Joe's Dark Chocolate Lover's Chocolate Bar. I love Trader Joe's. It's 85% cacao. Yes, I love Trader Joe's too. They have amazing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so we're using one bar. The, the pack comes with two. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to finally chop the dark chocolate up and fold it into our mix. So. the finely chopped chocolate in and then Dustin's gonna fold it all together um, gently. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I just also want to note that you can also make this recipe without the chocolate if you just want something plain. Um, so either way, chocolate or no chocolate. Fold it? Yeah, just fold it all together. Okay, so now 
now we've folded all the ingredients together and we have our meringue mix. So um, now all you need is like a baking sheet, like this. And we're gonna take some parchment paper and we're actually gonna draw out the circle um, so that we know where to um, put the meringue <laughs> so it bakes in a circle. A stencil. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, so now we have our um, our circle that we drew. So now we'll just pour the um, meringue mix in there and it'll bake into a circle. actually going to turn down the temperature to it's currently at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and we're going to turn it down to 300 once we put it in. Why is pavlova called pavlova? So it's actually called pavlova because it's named after... Am I saying it wrong? Pavlova? Pavlova? Yeah. I'm gonna say Pavlova. <laughs> Pavlova. Pavlova. Yeah. What does Pavlova mean? So it was named Pavlova because it was named after um, a ballerina from Russia, apparently. And the story goes that it was maybe created in Australia or maybe created in New Zealand, but there's been this long feud for a long time where it was created actually. But I think there is uh, the final word was that it was created in New Zealand for this ballerina named Pavlova. Ah, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Since we have some time to kill, how about we do some ballet in honor of Miss Pavlova? Sure. <laughs> do you? Plie? Is that a plie? <laughs> <laughs> Clover Organic Heavy Whipping Cream. <laughs> <laughs> Link in the description box. Just kidding. <laughs> sponsor us, sponsor us. Okay. Um, now lock the uh, mixer. And then let's start off at the lowest setting so it doesn't explode. And then we'll gradually um, make the settings so higher. So push it once. Yeah, just one clip to the left. I don't want it to be um, not super stiff where it's broken, but uh, kind of just has like that nice whipped cream texture. Not the kind from the can, but more, <laughs> more of like a creamy texture. Okay. And I think you can increase the speed a little. Whipped cream and it kind of 
has like a nice fluffy texture. And we'll just have to wait for the pavlova to finish. Okay, so now we're just gonna check on it um, to see if it needs to be in the oven a little longer, and I'm just gonna check to see if the texture is good. Looking beautiful. It smells delicious, it smells like chocolate. Oh, that's nice, can you hear that? That crunch, you want it to be nice and crunchy on the outside and just like soft and chewy on the inside. Okay, so we pulled this beauty out of the oven and um, it's looking good, it's crispy and still moist and soft in the center and chewy hopefully once we taste it. So now we're gonna take a plate and put it over the pavlova and then flip it over. Have dust in yeah. Be careful, it could be hot. Yeah. <laughs> well, hot, he looks, he looks. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Take some of these beautiful raspberries and just place them all over. I love like the different textures and the different colors. Okay, now we've put our raspberries over the whipped topping and Dustin, you can um, shave some dark chocolate shavings onto the top. And we can maybe uh, zest some lemon on there. Ooh. Just a little bit, just for some extra flavor. Feeling extra. <laughs> And we'll just add a little um, mint garnish to um, wrap it all up. And voila, pavlova. So we're finally done. We have our pavlova and it looks delicious. Chocolatey, delicious. <laughs> mm. So good. Really good. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good dessert. Um, if you want something that's like rich but not really heavy. Thank you so much, Chels, for showing me how to make papalova. Anytime, my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> and follow my food adventures on Instagram at Dustin Eats. And follow Chelsea at Chelsea Lada. <laughs> 
This video is brought to you by Terrarium Kits, DIY air plant mini gardens that are fun and easy to assemble. Each kit contains all the supplies needed to create a fabulous terrarium for your home or office. Don't, Don't forget, forget to subscribe! subscribe. <laughs> Norwegian troll. <laughs>